Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Neighbors Movie Thoughts so I'm gonna have to start it with that final party. As I said in the room, that's where it really gets to be hilarious. The whole thing... Yeah, let's let's start with them... You know, they, they go around to all these different places to, you know, make sure, you know, more people get in and they're getting, like, you know, homeless people and sex workers, you know, homeless people, you want a place to, to get something to eat, just go here, you know, and, oh, famous people, I mean, some of those, you know, impersonations were, you know, neither, neither very good nor very funny, but some of them were just spot on. Now, the, I thought Byrne did a pretty good Hathaway, for example, and then, you know, the, and, and sending the letter, and it's like, you know, smash cut from, wouldn't it be good if they thought that their parole, that they weren't on probation anymore? Smash cut, we're not on probation anymore! That was pretty good. That was funny, because, you know, you know that they're going to put this plan into action, and you're like, are they really going to buy it? And before you have much of a chance to think about it, Yep, there it is. They they bought it hook, line, and sinker, and the I I did think that it was slightly forced. The whole thing of you know the repeated yeah bits where they they say the same line over and over, and it's like they're realizing something that yeah I don't know. To me, at least, that wasn't terribly funny. But yeah, then they. You know, they're having the party, and they do this. Actually, I don't think it, it was a good visual, the, the hot box house, but nothing really came of it. I, I just think, I, I think that's too bad, because they, they did get a lot of other fun stuff. I mean, yeah, in that last, you know, last little bit, the, the last party there, you got payoff on the fireworks, on the, you know, the dildos. Yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, I don't know, maybe it ended up on the cutting room floor or something. But, but yeah, anyway, so got the whole party, and, you know, one of them finds the flyers like, hey, did you do this? No, no, we do all our stuff online. Who prints out flyers anymore? old people, and it's like, was the the letter of the, that's not Latin, that's in Hebrew, and then, you know, cuts back to, I don't know, not sure it's immediately, but, you know, we get the explanation from, from Jimmy. I, I thought there was like, you know, at the end of the heist, the, the little hint that, ah, see, we, you know, we tricked you. This is not the end of the heist, this is the middle of the heist. You know, the... And, yeah, Teddy tries to, to stop the whole thing, and you, and they have to sneak in as all the, the guests are getting trying, and, you know, Mac and Jimmy end up staying there, you know, making out to, to be inconspicuous. But what was it? I was just trying to make it, you know, so, so we wouldn't get noticed. You use tongue. Why would you? And you know, hiding under under the table, and it's like you know, Burn must have been playing like you know, stealth games or something. He picks up a bottle and just throws it. Everyone just runs. It. It's just wow. That was that was so absurd and and really funny for it. 
and you know, yeah, they they get up to you know to the place, and Teddy's up there. Ah, oh, we gotta lure him out. How are we gonna lure him out? I'm gonna throw. I, I'm gonna jump off the balcony. What, is, what would that? Be? No! And he's jumping off, and you know, and Teddy runs down to see where, and he slams the. And of course, it has a lock. You know, and then they have to get and. You know, they're guessing at all these different numbers. And, of course, it's 420, you know, oh, you know. Yeah, they, they get up there. Kelly goes up, and he slams the door, rolls it down. That's not actually going to... I guess he's thinking that if he can keep Teddy occupied, then Teddy won't have... But, I mean, he would know his own lock. But, yeah, anyway. And it's like, don't open this door until you, you know... So yeah, and and she gets up there. This kid locks everything. He's got the it was the power switch or something locked. Yeah, and the fight scene. Before I, I'm gonna get into the fight scene, but before it's just right after when you know she's firing the fireworks and it freaking it hits the car, the the cop car is just insane. It's just. You know, it's it's a lot like when the the barrel is rolling down and then the car hits it and it hits that other guy in the face and it's like, did that just somebody call the cops? And it's like, you know, that's maybe the third time he announces something over there, over that, and it's just, why don't you call the cops? It's just, yeah, that's that's really funny. It's like, and he moves. Oh, he moved. We didn't just kill a guy. Yeah, that was wow, and yeah. So anyway, the the fight that was one of the funniest things, and that's also actually, I mean, parts of that were just completely given away in the trailers, but it was still really funny, and they left out some of the really great things. You know, you've got the dildo fight, and the you know. The the beer can, where, you know, he throws a thing, you know, it's like tough, it's a projectile. And Teddy catches it because, of course he can. It's, that's not the first beer can that's been thrown in his face. And he throws it back and then, get, you know, the trampoline up, <laughs> hits him back in the face. <laughs> and then Mac goes in for the freaking wrestling move, you know, the, the freaking elbow from the sky. Jumps, thank you, Shank Uger. I don't know wrestling. And, you know, jumps on the trampoline and, you know, top of the head goes straight up into the, the you know, ceiling fan. Just, yeah, really, really funny. And, and he uses that little light, you know, thingy to rope around his leg and pulls him in. Yeah, that... <laughs> And I suppose that pretty much covers the whole final third there. I thought that the I thought that the whole breakup between Mac and Kelly was really forced. It didn't it didn't feel like it really came from anywhere. It yeah, I mean, you could certainly say it has that. You know, it's it's thematically consistent. It's it's that thing of you know growing up and excuse me, taking responsibility and that whole thing. And yeah, beyond that, it's just it it comes out of nowhere and it doesn't. It 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 feels manufactured. It's supposed to create tension. Excuse me, in conflict. Excuse me, or there really didn't. It's a good thing to have conflict and such, but it really does need to, you know, yeah, be organic. Now, I think that was pretty much what I wanted. To... Yeah, you. There are some really funny. <sighs> You know, kind of throw away lines with you know the the, the cop. You know the the boy who cried wolf. You're that boy. Never call us again. You're the cop. 
stops, you know, and, and the doctor with your baby has AIDS is the worst case scenario. It's just, yeah. <laughs> and I think that I, I really loved it when Efron just went completely psycho. That was one of the really funny things in that fight as well. The There were just a couple of times where he went in like full psycho, you know, at, at the very end where he slams, you know, Rogan through the door too, and like, you know, when they're just attacking, he's like doing the, the fist, and then he kicks instead, and, you know, Rogan slaps him, and and it's like, you know, okay, this is, <laughs> this is still fairly, you know, it's it's not completely off the rails yet, and then, you know, Efron just gets this, you know, crazed look and, just, you know, this kind of roid rage freak thing. And everyone's like, okay, oh, yeah, this this isn't supposed to happen. It's just, that was really, really funny, really effective. He, he did fantastic at just being completely psycho. Now, I suppose... I think that pretty well covers it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.